एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम so now in the part 1 uh, we have studied about the uh, what are the ideal transformer and working of transformer now next we will studied about the practical transformer i am narendra kaur now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by s chand publishing e book link description is given in the description box now i will start what are the practical transformer so practical transformer are basically so in practical transformer the input power that is more than the output power means this input power if this is a input power that is more than output power now if this is a core of transformer here is the input supplied here is a load by which we are getting the output value now what we have studied so when the current i1 is flowing in the primary winding of the transformer due to this emf is induced in this case here when the emf is induced in the core depend upon the direction of current due to this induced emf this induced emf will produce some amount of the eddy currents some amount of the eddy currents in case of eddy current the loss is directly proportional to i square means when the emf is induced in the core some amount of eddy currents are produced that eddy currents in case of eddy current loss is directly proportional to i square so there is some loss in the current when there is loss in the current so automatically the output power that is smaller than the input power so in case of practical transformer we can write this input value here the input power that is given by i1 v1 cos theta 1 and the output that is given by i2 v2 cos theta 2 so here we will get this i1 v1 cos theta 1 that is equals to i2 v2 cos theta 2 plus some losses so means in case of practical transformer this input value that is equals to some output value plus some losses so now again these losses are can be represented like pi plus p copper or you can say that this pi that can be represented as ph plus pe plus p copper now what is this p term over here that means the input is firstly e cos theta 1 equals to i2 v2 cos theta 2 plus ph plus pe plus p copper so what are such kind of losses what is ph here that is a loss in the transformer due to hysteresis pe that is a loss in the transformer due to eddy current what is p copper that is a loss in the transformer due to its core because core is made up by copper or iron so such kind of losses are called these are the losses in the transformer so in this case the input power is more than the output power and the number of windings in the primary and the secondary number of winding here n1 in most of the cases n1 is more than n2 means the number of windings are more in the primary coil than the secondary coil so and third one frequency frequency n1 
or N2, they are not equal. Means frequency at the input end or at the primary part that is not equal to frequency at the output part. So, this is about the practical transformer. So, in the part 2, we have studied about the practical transformer, how the input value is lesser than, input value is more than the output value because some of the power is lost in the losses in the transformer. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, kindly refer this book by S. Chant Publishing. Ebook link description is given in the description box. If you like this video, please kindly like, subscribe and share this video and also press the bell icon for the future notifications. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.